import and you're gonna go to movies this will pop up and then from here I'm going to click photos because um, no actually I'm gonna click movies because from here when I click movies these are all my movies that I'm getting from my iPhone you know if you were to have this from your camera then it would be downloads your desktop or you know whatever you filed it under you can look it up right here um, but mine is in here, so I'm going to leave all of this as is. I'm not going to change anything, and I'm going to import it. And it's going to say optimizing video process. And um, up here, my project is called I Love Spring Tag. Down here, it's just called A New Event. And you can rename it, whatever you want. You can click on it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and type I Love Spring Tag. You can type whatever you want. Or you can just leave it as is. It doesn't really matter. But now here comes the tricky, fun stuff. I know it looks really confusing, but it's really easy. I already kind of know where I want to edit um, and what needs editing. So I'm just going to highlight. If you want, you can highlight. Okay, you can click it, and it automatically highlights everything for you. Then you can just grab it and drag it. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually show you how you can edit piece by piece. So say you know you messed up like right here, like right here I start to talk. So I'm just going to highlight, oops, my bad. I'm trying to do this. Right here, you can drag it. So see right here it changes. I start talking there. So I'm going to just take from right there, grab this and just drag it, it's gonna take you. Okay, so from here I'm just gonna show you you want to add something cute to the beginning. So you don't just want your video to be what my video is, which is flowers. You want to add something cute. So you can go to text. You can add text to the flowers. Um, you can create different themes like it shows you like, excuse me, I have so much acid reflux and heartburn. I'm going to do this cute one because it's a famous one. You're just going to grab it, drag it. And you can put it in the video itself, or you can put it before. You see the green do green arrow or green bar coming up, or you can put it at the end. I'm going to go ahead and put it inside the flowers. So then here, it tells you type in the text, right? And I'm going to put, okay, is this working? Oh, there it goes. It's just going slow. I love spring tag. Okay. And there we go. So now I have this cool little font thing here. But um, what was I going to say? Okay. If you want to add something in front of your video, then all you want to do is go down here to, um, you can go down to this little world and you can click blobs, underwater, um, the curtain. Um, stars, I know stars is a really famous, I mean, you know, a uh, popular one for YouTube beauty gurus. There's different colors, and then you can do titles, which, um, they're kind of like intros. You can do this one, which is what I like, and I like this one. This one's really popular. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here, and right where that green arrow, I'm just going to pop it. It's going to go in front. It's going to tell me, um, choose your background that you want for your little thing, I'm going, since it's spring, I'm going to go ahead and pick, hmm, what should I pick? This one? Or green? What do you guys think? Well, just for the sake of it, I'm just going to go with green. Okay, so I'm going to put right here, uh, forever, oh my god, this takes forever, sorry guys. Forever Raquel Love, and you guys can put whatever you guys want there. So bam, you just have a cute little intro now. And um, you can tap on your space bar. I'm going to show you. So I just click like this and it starts to play. See? But I didn't add any sound there, so nothing's playing. Nothing's if you playing. go to this little music note, 
and it says iMovie sound effects which is like the little bell I just did at the beginning of my video and right here too I added it and now I want to add like some actual music so you go to life i life sound effects it's right under iMovie sound effects and it took me forever to figure this out I was kept wondering how do beauty YouTube gurus get that music on there I know it's on iMovie but how do I get it well sure enough it's right here and I couldn't see it because this was I don't know I don't even know how it happened but I found it and it's right here I'm going to go ahead and add catwalk is um um you know famous one or popular one it's that one most YouTube beauty gurus use it you would just grab it drag it to where you want it to start and etc this lasts for 15 seconds but you can make it last longer but what I wanted to show you also is that you can search for the music that you like that you already know that you like on iMovie sound effects or the iMovie uh, iLife sound effects you could just start typing in whatever song and it'll come up that way you don't have to go through the whole entire list but what I suggest to do is go to YouTube type in audio library you're gonna have all royalty free music that you can use for your videos download the songs that you like then you'll have them on your library so you'll go to iTunes and click music so this is these are all the songs that I have you know that I have bought and then just stuff that I got for free but then I also have songs that I downloaded from audio library for example this one so I like that song it's very popular and I'm gonna go ahead drag it and put it in the beginning to start off my video now I can show okay a quick side note is that usually the music is really loud so if you already have a talking video or a talk through video on your um, recorded material or tutorial you know that this song is gonna be louder so what you're gonna do is click this right here settings this little flower looking thing and you're gonna go to audio adjustments so you click that this pops up it says inspector right here it says volume almost 200 percent so I'm gonna lower that to like 35 percent it depends on how loud your voice is on your video so let's just go ahead and run through this and see what it sounds like I'm gonna press my spacebar okay it's going slow okay so I noticed that my voice is a little bit low so I'm going to go ahead and lower this a little bit lower down to like 25 percent because I want to be able to hear this part here where it says welcome to the I love spring tag or whatever so I'm just gonna press play and just to make sure see if that's good so that's much better you already highlighted you go up to edit and delete selection so let me see if I can show you guys so edit delete selection and it's gonna delete it if you want to undo something um, my computer is going slow I don't know why you can just undo remove voiceover and it'll bring it back but I don't want it so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it so that's just another trick in case you know, oops, you know, you mess up or you don't like something. There. You're going to go to File, and from there, you're just going to go down, Move Event to Trash. And it's going to ask you, Move Event and Trash, are you crazy? <laughs> yes, delete. <laughs> and it's gone. Okay? So it's not going to be down there anymore. If you want to get rid of it from up here, what you're going to do, if you want to delete it, say it's an old video, go back to project library, click it, and same thing, you're going to, oh god, this is going to be horrible, I'm so sorry, it's shaking, um, you're going to go to edit, my bad, not edit, file, and go down to move project to trash, it's going to take it to the trash. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is just, you know, say you have already a perfect video you don't really want to edit, or you just want to go ahead and just put it all in so you're just gonna click from where you see how this orange pops up here that's what you already placed up there and you're just gonna take it all the way down 
and I want to, you know, drag all this up here. It's going to do that for you. So now, say I want to add, um, you know, I love Raquel, or Raquel, forever Raquel love. You're going to drag this right here, or you can drag it up here, wherever you want it to start, and it's going to do it throughout uh, the whole entire video if you want, or you could just leave it there in that section. So I'm just going to click on show fonts, and you can pick your font and your color and your size. I like pink, and I like this one, and I don't like that little style, so I click this to undo that. And that's done, that's a good size. Now I can type in my name of my channel. Okay, so you get the drift. So these are just a few pointers for you girls and guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, this is beginner. So these are just like the first steps that you wanna learn. And I'm sure that after I show you all this, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, you start playing with it and you already get the drift, all right? So thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.